Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. In our previous video, we discussed about the series combination of resistors. There we learn that when resistors are connected in series, the total resistance increases. In this video, we will learn about the parallel combination of resistors. When the same ends of the resistors are connected together, we call such combination as parallel combination. We will explore what happens when resistors are connected in parallel. What will be their total resistance? Here I have taken three resistors, each having resistance equal to 1000 ohm. I have connected them in parallel. Now I will check the resistance of a similar type of resistor with the help of a multimeter. I have set the multimeter to read the resistance. Say I place the probes at the at the ends of the resistor. You can observe it reads 985, which is around 1000 ohms. Now I will check the resistance of this resistors connected in parallel combination. Now look at it carefully what happened. The resistance of individual resistor is 1000 ohm. But when they are connected in parallel, the resistance has reduced to 330 ohm. This shows that when we connect the resistors in parallel combination, the total resistance decreases. I have told you earlier, the symbol of a resistor is represented like this. That is a device that opposes the flow of current. Here, I have taken three resistors R1, R2 and R3 connected in parallel. When we say parallel combination, that means we connect the same terminal. So I call it as terminal 1 and the terminal 2 of this resistor. This is the terminal 1. This is the second terminal of resistor R2. This is the first terminal and this is the second terminal of resistor R3. If you connect the first terminal of all the three resistors together and you do the same thing with the second terminal as well. Means we call such combination as parallel combination. So here R1, R2 and R3 are connected in parallel to a cell that provides potential V across them. And in a parallel combination, always remember the current will not remain same. The current passing through R1 is I1, current passing through R2 is I2 and current passing through R3 is I3. It is due to conservation of charges. We know current is nothing but rate of flow of charges. Here the charges gets splitted while flowing through R1, R2 and R3. That is why 
the current through this resistance do not remain same. From Ohm's law, Ohm's law, I1, I2 and I3 value can be obtained this way. We know Ohm's law is V equals to I R. From this, I is obtained by taking R to the left hand side. So, we will get the value of I as V upon R. Here for my convenience, I take R as RP. P stands for parallel, parallel combination. And RP is the equivalent resistance of resistors connected in, in the parallel or total resistance of resistors connected in parallel. I take this one as the equation number 1. I equals to V upon RP as equation number 1. Now, so similar way, I will find out the value of I1, I2 and I3. One more thing I forgot to mention here. In the parallel combination, voltage throughout the circuit remains same. So, when you go to find out the value of I1, voltage is taken as V because it is a constant in the circuit. It is, it remains same. And uh, in the place of RP, I will take R1, which is the resistance of this resistor. And I2 can be obtained if we replace R1 with the R2. Similar way, I3 is equal to V upon R3. And here, total current in the circuit can be obtained by adding I1, I2 and I3. We know the value of I, I1, I2 and I3 from these four equations. Let me substitute the value. This I equals to V upon Rp. I1 equals to V upon R1. I2 is equal to V upon R2. And I3 is nothing but V upon R3. Now, I take the common terms common term outside. Here V is the, the common term in all the three parts of this equation. So I take it out. For I do so, I write a 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3 within bracket. Then I take V to the left hand side. When I do so, What is multiplying here will come to denominator. V. This side 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. Here this V and this get cancelled. We obtain the final equation as This is the final equation. Now, I box this. If you look at uh, this equation, it uh, says that the reciprocal of total resistance of resistors connected in parallel is always equal to the sum of reciprocal of individual resistance. You always remember one thing. When uh, resistors are connected in parallel, the total resistance decreases. And uh, one more thing to be remembered is in a parallel combination, current changes and voltage remains same. I hope uh, this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic,
Can you put your questions in the comment section? Thanks for watching.